Yeah, it's like one shine. Well, I mean, that's it's like that all the time. But With like, grab or shine. But yeah. I, I totally understand what you're saying. And I, I feel the same parallel in Marth Dittos. Yeah. Like, if I could choose to play Fox, I would. I think I would play Fox versus Marth, right? Because Marth Dittos. You know. <laughs> you, yeah, you get smacked. <laughs> you're, like, you're both limited. You're, you're 20%. You're trying to recover down tilt. Down tilt. Down tilt. Down tilt. Like, forward oh. smash. You get the tech, but they still punish you. Yeah. It's like, okay, well. These characters. All right, so red team is Dizkid, Boogie, and Wizzy sitting on the left side in red. Ooh, they color coordinated in game and in real life. Let's so. I think this is no, real. No, they're going. Yeah, this is real. So and Wizzy, oh my god. What's amazing is what happened is they camped the ledge and Wizzy approached and got shined. Yeah. Oh, not again. He almost gets another shine attempt. Um, the smiley He's get face another shine is attempt. definitely Cobalt. Yes. INFP is Harriet. So. Yes. They played this the same tag setup last time. Wizzy gets the edge guard. This kid is uh, giving it to Colin right now. See if Colin can make it back. Shine stalling. Nope. He does a nice attempt. I like the strategy from the two foxes though, which is uh, just shine Falcon and make the Icy's approach in the air. Yeah. Oh, getting rid of Nana, very important because you now become a very bad character without Nana. Not so good. And super vulnerable on recovery, you lose your uppy option. Yeah. It's much easier to edge guard. I mean, side B is a little tricky, but in doubles you have multiple people covering. So. Exactly. And you're more at the mercy of your teammate. And then there's scenarios where the teammates are covering and you just get 2v1 and now you're dead. Dude, this slow recovery is the bane of all mid-tiers. It's like, oh, I want to get back to the stage and help my partner. It's but taking me 30 seconds. And they're just getting 2v1 by two foxes. Yeah, it's like, I might as well just die, I guess. Yeah, it's it's really hard, especially like um, characters like Ice du Climbers. Double. Oh, he makes it on stage. I did not expect Cobalt to make it on stage. Cobalt's still living. Uh, Nana gets the throw. This kid isn't able to follow up. Is he going to go for, yep, a grab release. Really good attempts. So right now, red team is has a slight advantage, um, especially after that really dominating start. It uh, seems like they're just controlling space a little bit better, getting more edge guards. Yeah. Red team was uh, not looking hot, and now they got it. Oh, but both of them That's off double. stage. Oh, what? the save from Diskid! Oh, but it doesn't matter. Well, actually, uh, it still matters. DI. Yeah, it still matters. Falcon, very, very heavy and fast baller. Cobalt. Yeah, so heavy. Working in teams to the advantage this time. Cobalt did some sick corner pressure. He got the stock. Ooh, wasn't able to shine Diskid off like he wanted to, but Cobalt is still keeping up the pressure on the other side of the stage. That's a dead Nana. Yeah, he finally gets Nana with that. This kid did a get up attack while Cobalt tried to side B him. I'm expecting maybe a Sakurai combo from him, and the get up attack just canceled everything. Yeah, it's pretty sick. Unfortunate. I guess sick for, for Icy. Yeah, well, because you don't want to get Sakurai comboed. Oh, <laughs> they're shine. That was so sick. Cobalt is doing some great ledge play. Oh. Wow, he made it on stage. That's so impressive. Wizzy is so good at catching those rolls. He just kind of stands there while yes. you're in shield, yes. and he's just like, if you roll at me, you're getting need. And that's especially strong in teams. You want to position it so that they have to go through your partner. Yeah. Oh. oh really barely barely really. missing that. I thought he was just going to grab ledge. Oh. Uh, Cobalt wanted to save Harriet, but oh. Don't, no chain grabs. Come on, guys. <laughs> that was really cool. Um, still doable for Cobalt. They're both at high percents, and then it'd be a 1v1 if he was just able to... Cobalt yeah. has done very well historically against Ice Climbers. Yes. So... This is a shine attempt. Respects oh, no. Wizzy's invincibility. Okay, that's good. That's what you want. Oh, but Wizzy texts on the floor. Oh, no, Cobalt. That's Cobalt. it. Yeah, Wizzy's not missing that. I recently learned that Wizzy... Wizrobe has the highest edge guard percentage out of any player in the world. I would believe that. And you know, you you think about it a little bit, you watch him a little bit, and you're like, holy crap, this guy has like an eighty percent edge guard rate. If you are off stage, you are dead eighty percent of the time. At any percent. And it doesn't matter the character most of the time. Yeah. Like even against Jigglypuff, it's like you try and land on the stage, he's still just up airing you to the yep. other side. Yep. To the other side. Same with Peach, same with all the other folks. It's characters. so impressive that he can do that with a character. It's his. It's just his accuracy and his movement, his reaction speed. It's yes. like it's a combination of all that, and and really, yes. Let's emphasize accuracy, right? Yeah. It's just doing the correct move, just correct enough, right? Because mm -hmm. like anything can be a good option if you time, time it, time it, and space it just so. And that's the beautiful thing about melee, dude. You can see him like use invincibility, like maybe like ledge, get off of the ledge, and like run around. Oh, he edge guards so creatively. Yeah. A lot of times he'll do like perfect ledge dash into pivot into knee. Yes. Oh. 
That was, oh, look beautiful. I think all, all three of the 20GX guys are a huge advocate of that one in particular. And because, it because so yeah, good. dude, invincible, you're invincible it's a pivot. And you have a knee that has the proper, um, like, hitbox out. Because yeah, you did the it pivot. that way. Yeah. Super good. Um, I really like the pick. Pokemon Stadium is going to do a lot of work against the Ice Climbers, particularly, and it gives them, like, They're so open bad room. on transformations. Yeah. Like, Nana doesn't know what to do. She's like, I'm used to flat ground, now there's this rock in the middle, what do I do? <laughs> Not only that, but the vertical kill does yeah. favor Fox. For sure. I mean, Falcon has room to run around, which you don't want in teams because... That's a wobble. Yeah, you get situations like that, and they convert off of it. That's a sick wobble. Nothing can be done. Yeah, especially like when you have Wizzy those 2 ones is invincible on the ledge. You're dead. Cobalt. Okay, just kidding. Cobalt is really good at recovering. Yeah, going straight was actually the best option. Right into the fray. Wow, they're, they're trying to pressure Wizzy, but he just doesn't care. Yeah, he's, he's pinned between two foxes and winning? That's like, How does fucking do that? Oh, great save from Disc Kid, and Nana adds to it in a weird way. I think the Falcon Kick was a little too greedy. Oh, wow, really good follow-up from Harriet. But the down smash. Running and, down smash. Yeah, and oh, Red Team is kind of, like, it's a slight lead, but it's... It seems like they're body you know? It just feels that way as far as interactions go, but it's still very doable, especially on the rock stage. Like, Fox can kind of get away with a lot of stuff here. Like, the rock is there to save, um, I think that's Cobalt at high percent. Yes. So he can live longer now, so. The the real problem right now is for Icy's, like, this is the limited amount of stage they can have. They can't really fight on the other side. Oof. Double kill. How did Fox lose stock? That was insane. These guys' team composition, like, they have to have teamed before. Because they're just working together very, very well. It seems very synergized. Ooh. Okay, Diskid has a chance to make it back. Oh, what was Harriet? You, you want to up smash that, I think. Maybe down smash hits both sides, that's why. I don't know. I feel like 99% of the time he would have known the right option. But at the same time, Harriet, as a player, he has he, a very weird hair. I was told style. he is so goofy from yeah. our, my previous partner. He is um, hes the kind of guy who will spot dodge six times in a row in the middle of the stage, in the middle of neutral, and then you're like, what are you doing? And then he'll win. And then he'll win, yeah. <laughs> and then you'll whiff a grab, and then he'll like shine into like... And he's like baited, him. dog. Yep. <laughs> okay, so Diz Kid manages to protect Wizzy a bit. Oh, wow. A lot of it. That was... Wizrobe is at 150% against two foxes here, and he had so there were so many edge guard opportunities. Was that Smash DI? Or? It was Smash DI. Oh Incredible Smash DI. He lets Dizkit kind of take the lead. Oh, oh my! Wow. This is pretty sick. So the craziest part, he died. So yeah, you want to live as long as you can because even at 150%, you're still back here and and still kneeing. getting your yeah. knees. You're still getting down throws and all that. Like it doesn't matter when you die. It's just like. Yeah, I'm at high percent. I'm probably going to die soon, but I can still get like stage advantage for my partner. I can get like tech chases going. I'll just get it. Yeah, that was sick. The entire sequence was perfect. Yep. There was. It felt like Fox had nothing he could do. Wizrobe is gonna maybe do Falcon something punch, cool. Falcon punch. Falcon punch. Falcon punch. There you go. Uh, Cobalt and Harry get knocked out of the tournament. Sorry, Florida. I mean, just get boogie.